Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Today I am going to answer you a quiz which I asked two days back in relation to coronary anatomy. And this was the quiz which I asked you. You can see the question is very clear. Can you please name the intersection of vessel, proximal main vessel, and two branches after bifurcation? Highlighted with red, green, blue, and purple color. I'm starting with purple color. You see here, you can see that this was right coronary artery. So the proximal of this vessel is distal right coronary artery. And it divides into PDA. And a lot of people think that this is PLV. Now, few books have written this, this very categorically. That when distal RCA divides, it first gives the branch which is called posterior atrioventricular. And after that, when this branch further gives branches, those branches are called PLV branches, posterior lateral ventricular branches. So at time of bifurcation, which is at the at the site of crux where the posterior inter, inter, interventricular groove meets the posterior AV groove. So it's atrioventricular. You can go and see this in, in, in books which have given in detailed history. But some people in usually say it PLV. It's not PLV actually at the site of bifurcation. But let's discuss these branches with radiological anatomy to give our junior colleague a view of coronary anatomy as it, it appears in radiology. This is the RCA you see. And always remember this. Even those who are not even posted in cath lab can easily understand that this is RCA giving a synodal branch, conus branch. But there is a detail about these branches that sometimes they are separate, sometimes within RCA, then this is acute marginal. And this is the point where RCA divides into, and this point I ask you people, distal RCA, posterior descending artery, posterior atrioventricular, and then these branches are all PLBs. After that, once this posterior ventricular, atrioventricular further divides into. Now, second question I ask you regarding this vessel, this one. This was, we all know that this is left main, which divides into left interior descending and left circumflex. And the branches of left circumflex are main circumflex and obtuse marginal. So if we conclude the answer to this, 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 this was the important point to remember. This was left main, left interior descending, left circumflex. This was left circumflex and obtuse marginal. And this was mid LED. A lot of people have written it or oh, proximal, but some, some classification after septal or a mid LED, which maybe you can say it LED dividing into mid LED and diagonal or even distal LED and diagonal after the uh, diagonal part. But here you can see, say, uh, left interior descending and diagonal. Proximal to the bifurcation is also left interior descending and distal to the bifurcation is also uh, left interior descending, as same applies to circumflex. So I think uh, that may help you in future. And I personally think every trainee should know the radiological anatomy from day one. And I will give you a link with this video where I have covered this uh, subject in a way that I have uh, given you a lecture about uh, how to diagnose, uh, how to see the radiological anatomy. So I'll give you the link that as well. Thank you very much for your patience listening.